the album, uh, it's pretty much the album of Pope, uh, Pope Benedict XVI, the current Pope. Um, it, uh, it's composed of eight tracks, all of them featuring his voice. He is uh, speaking in the majority of it, but he is also singing in some of it. It, uh, it also has uh, the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, recorded Abbey Road, um, and it also features the choir of the Philharmonic Academy of Rome, uh, which was recorded in St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican. Sì, vogliamo ringraziarti, ti sei consacrata con ogni tua energia alla persona e all'opera di Dio. These are all either speeches or, or uh, masses that he's done in the past, and everything that he does is basically recorded. So they are, uh, they are tracks that have been created from recordings provided by, by a company called uh, Radio Vatican. anything's been done quite like this in terms of, of, a, of a pope putting out a record. There has been a record by Pope John Paul II. The proposition was very different there. That was about probably 12 or 13 years ago. I think it was more of, a, of an experimental record. It was the voice of Pope John Paul with uh, slightly more hypnotic beats, more studio driven. This is, uh, this is really a beautiful piece of music with an amazing choir, an amazing orchestra. Uh, so one more. I think it could reach people that are not Catholic or maybe not Christian. There is an African composer, as I mentioned before, and also it, it might be appealing to uh, to people who are who are into classical music. I mean, I think there's there's a really big element of of classical arrangements there, which if you're passionate about that music, it, it might be appealing to you as well beyond beyond the faith uh, sort of side of the record. The record will be mastered in the middle of August, and um, we're aiming to probably have the first plays of the record in September, outside of really the inner sort of circle, so to speak. I mean, I think as soon as the record is completed, the first thing that will happen is that we will get it to, uh, to His Holiness, to the Pope. Once it's approved, then we will go ahead and let everybody else hear it. So this is really, I mean, it's, it, it will be through his consent that we eventually let everybody hear it. <laughs> 